Our next thing we're going to talk about is how to actually read the scale on your calipers to get your dimension. Now, very, very, very important. I need everybody to do this right now. In fact, I'll probably put up a Google form of a yes or no as your stuff working correctly. Everyone check your calipers. So take your calipers, close them all the way, and then you're going to look at this zero line and that zero line and make sure that they are lined up perfectly all right and not a little gap in between like that so when you close it all the way let's zoom in right here this line right here should line up with this line right here. This zero line right here should line up with this zero line right here. If you close it all the way and it looks like that, you need to let us know if this does not line up because if it does not line up, every answer you get from now on is probably gonna be incorrect. Now these calipers, these cost a couple of dollars a piece so what that means is when you're manufacturing, and we'll talk about manufacturing later on, so every 10,000 or so of these that come out of the factory, there might be five of them that are no good. Calipers, you can buy calipers that cost two, three, four hundred dollars a piece. Every single one of those that comes out of the factory, out of 10,000 of them, probably 10,000 of them are gonna be good. But before we go any further, I need you to check your calipers right there, make sure they're good. So let's do that right now. Let's answer a Google form. So is that line, that zero line, does it line up with that zero line when you close them all the way? 